Hello, hello, my friends. Over the last three months, it's hard to believe that we are already almost done with the first three months of 2023. But over the past three months, I have picked up a couple of new beauty products. Now, beauty to me includes makeup, skincare, body care, and hair care. And one of my goals for this new year was to be very intentional about what I am purchasing. You know, all of us are prone to being influenced, right? I am influenced just as you probably are by other creators, whether that's here on YouTube or on Instagram, um, Facebook somewhat, and I'm not on TikTok, TikTok so I seem to avoid that, um, that little platform there, which I know has been very influential for a lot of people. With my desire to be very selective about what I am bringing in with my beauty products, I wanted to share with you today five products that were completely new to me this year that I have said, yeah, this was a success. I really, really like these. So let's go ahead and dive into what have been my top five winners for the quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with a makeup product that was completely new to me this year. This was actually, I believe this was released last year from the brand. Now, I have had a lot of success with their powder products. I have um, one of their face palettes that I have really loved. Their foundation did not work out for me because it did cause me breakouts, which is why I was a little bit hesitant for a while to pick this product up. But I noticed this year that I, my, my pores around here when I was putting on my makeup were becoming a little bit more visible and I was starting to become curious about finding a primer that would work for smoothing out that area of my face. In walks the Vanish Airbrush Primer from Hourglass. Now they have always had their mineral, I wanna say it's like their mineral veil primer, their veil primer, I can't remember. This is the new one. This is not the one that they have had around for a long time. Now I know that the other one is a holy grail product for a lot of people because it's known for being waterproof, um, extending the wear of your makeup, but I was really specifically looking for something, like I said, to really work on the pore area right here and just give me a little bit smoother finish. For reference, I am 38 years old. I don't have any injections in my face at this point in my life. I'm not against them, but I just haven't gotten around to um, working them into my budget. and. and you know, there's some trepidation for that for me on, um, yeah, just for me on that. So anyways, I thought, let's go ahead and give this a try. I ordered it from Nordstrom. I figured if it doesn't work out for me, I can always return it. Now for reference, primers for me in the past have typically not worked out because they tend to break me out. But I have to say, you guys, this product does what it claims that it's going to do. It is a pricey product. Hourglass is expensive. However, it does smooth out right here. This is what I was looking for. It does, I think, improve the wear of my makeup. I find that my makeup overall just looks like it's gone on a smoother canvas. Um, and the best part is that it does not break me out. There is no fragrance. The texture of it is a little bit, I wouldn't say it's completely as silicone feeling as like the Smashbox primer or um, what's the other one I'm thinking of, like the Benefit Professional. It's not as thick and silicone feeling as that one, but it does have a little bit of a slip to it. So for me, when I use this, I make sure that I apply it about five minutes before I go in with my foundation just to give it a little bit of time to truly kind of like set on my face. But this has been a standout product. It is one that I have now in my makeup collection. Another product that I have picked up recently is a body care product. And I know that this is not one that is new to the market, um, but it, it was one that has kind of surprised me that I have really enjoyed it. This is Into the Night, the ultimate hydration body cream from Bath & Body Works. Now I have shopped Bath & Body Works over the last few years, predominantly for candles. And over, over that time, I have tried, well, let me back up here. I have tried Bath & Body Works creams and body lotions in the past, and I just not, did not find them to be very hydrating. However, um, because I purchased a lot of candles from them, I have found that I've been getting those like rewards, you know, where you can redeem for $16.95 or whatever. I think that's the price point now, $16.95 and you get a free product. And so I decided to kind of dip my toe into that by purchasing the moisturizing body washes. But I thought, you know what? I smelled this fragrance one day because I've heard a lot of people talk about it and I smelled it and I was like, you know what? I do like that. I am the type of person that likes to put on a scented body cream after I shower at night. I don't necessarily want a perfume, but I want something that is going to just give a nice scent, but it's not going to linger all the way into the morning because I like to wear perfumes during the day. In walks this, into the night. 
The fragrance notes on this are raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha musk. This fragrance reminds me a little bit of Lancome's La Vie et Belle. So if you like that fragrance and you are looking for a lotion to layer with that, I would highly recommend this one. I have really been enjoying it. And one of the things that I am finding is that it does actually feel moisturizing to my skin. Like I said, in years past, I felt like Bath & Body Works um, lotions actually dried out my skin, but this actually does a pretty good job of providing hydration. So. This has been a winner for me. Talking about the need for hydration. So winter here has felt like it is dragged on. In fact, as of the day that I am filming this, um, we are dealing with more clouds, more rain, um, colder. I wouldn't say colder. I mean, like the temperatures are like in the low 60s, upper 50s. If you are new here, I live in Arizona, which is why you're probably thinking, Katie, that's not that big of a deal. It is a big deal for me living in Arizona because this time of year, we are typically daytime highs of about 75 to 80 degrees. So with our prolonged winters, the heat is still kicking on at night, which means that my normally normal to oily skin has been a little bit drier this winter. I noticed that I needed something that just gives my skin a little bit more hydration, more so than my overnight um, facial cream. I typically use the, what have I been using? The Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, and it's good, but it's still just not delivering the moisture that I needed. Now, a brand that I have really loved their skincare products is Maylove. And you guys know if you've been here for a while that I absolutely love their Glow Maker Serum. I also love their Moonlight Retinol Serum. And so I decided, you know what? They have some facial oils. And I thought I should incorporate one of those at night to see if I notice an improvement in my drier skin. Newsflash, I do. So the product that I'm talking about that I started incorporating this year is the Maylove Pure Marula Oil. It says organic wild harvested. Now I have been using this to kind of seal in my moisturizer at night. I have not been using it during the day because I'm still a little bit hesitant to use an, a facial oil during the daytime, but I have really, really liked this product. I believe that it is around the $35 mark. Um, I think Maylove is actually going to be having a price increase coming here pretty soon. It's only by like maybe three or four dollars. Um, but I really, really like this product because it is quick absorbing. I feel like it completely absorbs into my skin within 10 minutes. I don't feel like I'm going to be walking out into my living room and my husband's going to be like, you look like a glazed donut. Um, but it does definitely soak into my skin enough so that I don't have residue on my pillowcase, but my skin, I have noticed a not a difference in the hydration. It does feel um, just, I'm noticing those dry patches that I was really getting right in here are starting to subside. Um, and I have really been liking this product. So if you are looking for a good facial oil, I would highly recommend this one. All right, another beauty product or makeup product, this is all beauty, another makeup product that I have recently picked up, um, this was probably about a month, month and a half ago now that this has been in my collection, is the new repackaged version of the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. Now I have mine in the shade N3 and I happen to find this to be a very good shade match for me right now. But one of the reasons why I was intrigued by this is because it formerly did not have a pump on it and I am somebody that does prefer a pump on my foundation. Another reason why I was intrigued by it is because it is a light to light medium coverage and not every day do I want full coverage on my face. Some days I just want something a little bit lighter because I'm not, I'm not doing a full beat, you know? <laughs> I don't need it to last all day. Maybe I'm only going to be wearing makeup for a couple of hours. And I have to say that this product has worked out very well for me. Now, spoiler alert, L'Oreal foundations have typically been my drugstore brand to go to. For whatever reason, like I can't use Maybelline complexion products. They break me out a lot. Um, and I don't know what it is, but L'Oreal is just the drugstore brand that has always intrigued me. I do like their infallible 24 hour fresh wear. However, that product has a chemical sunscreen in it and it has a little bit of fragrance in it, which both of those things, if I wear them too many days in a row, do break out my skin. 
This product does not have a chemical SPF and there is no fragrance detectable to me, which is why it has been a winner for me. I would highly recommend it. Also, it's available pretty easily. It's available at Walmart and at a lot of your drugstores. In fact, I think I picked this up for about $4 at my local CVS because um, I had a coupon and extra bucks and whatnot. So if you have had your eye on this product, I would highly recommend it. I think I did do an Instagram reel on this. Um, if you're not following me um, over on Instagram, you might wanna do so because I do post a little bit more beauty content over there. My, my channel here, I do a lot of candle content and I sprinkle in some beauty, but I feel like I do a little bit better job of balancing out beauty and home fragrance over on my Instagram. So highly recommend this if you have had your eye on it. All right, and then finally, a hair care product that I have picked up this year that has I want to say, I don't want to say it's dethroned, but it's like co-reigning with my very favorite root boosting product. So I have a lot of, I have a lot of fine hair. So I would say it's like medium, medium, medium amount. I'm trying to, what are the words here? You guys, I was sick last week and I feel like I'm still battling through some brain fog from having been ill. Um, so I'm sorry, my words are just a little bit difficult to come by, but I want to say I have medium thickness hair, but it is very fine and it is very straight. I am also a gal that loves her some volume in the hair. So I feel like, you know, those two things are always in conflict with another. My favorite root boosting product for years has been the Aquage Uplifting Foam. Now, last year, the brand Moroccan Oil kind of waltzed its way into my life. And ever since, I would say last summer, I have been very curious about a lot of their products. So one of the products that got me this year was the, their version, they call it just Root Boost. It says for fine to medium hair, it is for volumizing, weightless natural texture. I really like this product. Now I am the type of person that I use this only at the root of my hair. I like the nozzle on here. The nozzle is very targeted, it's small. This is not like your foaming type of mousse. So there's no foam aspect to this. What it is is I go in and I part my hair, you know, here, middle, side, and then I will typically go right here, like around the crown essentially. And I go in and I directly spray this on every, on each one of those parts. And then I kind of just work it in a little bit. And I find that when I turn my head upside down and blow dry my hair, I'll typically do a little bit of a rough dry to just get that root lifted. I love the effect this give. It gives, it gives um, more volume at the roots without it feeling greasy or gloppy. I find that a lot of traditional mousses, if I, if I put it there at the root, um, it will feel weighed down and greasy and gross, and I am not all about that. Um, I am a type of person that washes my hair twice a week, sometimes three times a week, just depending on how sweaty and gross I get, but I typically like to just use dry shampoos and then give my hair a good shampoo about twice a week, but this product has been really good. Also, if you love the Moroccan oil fragrance, that is in here. Um, if you don't like fragrance, you probably won't like it, but this has given the Aquage Uplifting Foam, a run for its money. In fact, I would say that between the two, they are pretty much on equal footing and I am really glad that I have brought this product into my life. So that's it for my top five products that I have picked up this year. Would you guys let me know in the comment box down below what has been your winner so far? Have you picked up anything new this year or have you been on a no buy or a low buy? Um, let us know too if how you're doing with that because I feel like those are accomplishments that need to be applauded as well. Also, would you guys like a video on products that I have tried, but they just did not work out for me. They went back. Um, I'm a girl that I'm not afraid to return products if they don't work out for me, but I also don't want to give like a totally negative video. I don't know. It's always kind of like this weird balancing aspect of like, I want to provide good feedback for you guys, but I never want to come across as like a negative person because obviously my channel is called Katie's Joyful Life. There's no room for negativity. Um, let me know in the comment box down below if you would like a video on maybe some hyped up products that I tried out and didn't work out, um, I would be willing to film a video for you on that. 
Once again, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, thank you if you are a returning viewer, and also just thank you so much for spending your time here with me today. YouTube should be suggesting another video for you to watch at the end of this one, and I just want to say that I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.